Uh, the following presentation is entitled Machine Learning and Pattern Recognition. It's about uh, two areas that are nearly the same, that are very uh, related, and they are uh, a very important uh, branch in artificial intelligence and the development of uh, intelligent uh, systems. Training objectives are four, to define machine learning and pattern recognition, to interpret uh, the classification paradigm and the conventional classifier structure, to understand the conventional learning methods, and to know some pattern recognition applications. The index of the presentation follows the training objectives already mentioned. So we start with, begin with uh, machine learning definitions. These are four definitions from uh, uh, relevant uh, uh, machine learners uh, along the uh, development of this area. First of all, it's a definition by Arthur Samuel, uh, to whom uh, it's attributed uh, one of the first machine learning systems, one for playing uh, uh, che checkers. And uh, Arthur said, uh, machine learning is a field of computer science that uses uh, statistical techniques to give uh, computer systems the ability to learn without being explicitly, explicitly programmed. Uh, okay, so here uh, the, um, um, the, the uh, evident, I mean the data is uh, first uh, um, identified as a, a key uh, difference for machine learning uh, and building intelligent systems. In the mid-90s we have a definition by Tom Mitchell, a relevant also machine learner, uh, a computer program is said to learn from experience E with respect to some class of tasks T and performance measure P if its performance at tasks in T as measured by P improves with experience E. What uh, matters in this definition, which is, uh, um, mixes something, uh, it's the, uh, um, the uh, variables identified by Mitchell. Uh, we say that a, systems, a system that uh, uh, improves its performance uh, from experience as uh, measured by, the, um, by P on task T is set uh, a machine learning system. That is a system that learns automatic, automatic, automatically from data. It is experience that helps in improving performance as measured by P on a certain class of tasks, T. So, more recently, we have a definition by Niels Nilsson, uh, a very a well-known, uh, one of the most prominent uh, researchers in artificial intelligence, conventional in arti artificial intelligence, that although not being part of the machine learning uh, uh, area, not mo most, uh, uh, he says, uh, most uh, machine learning methods construct a hypothesis from data and beginning around the 80s, machine learning has become one of the most prominent branches of artificial intelligence. So, although he is not uh, a very, um, uh, act is not an active uh, developer of machine learning, he admits, he recognizes the, important of, uh, machine, the importance of machine learning in, uh, in current uh, artificial intelligence uh, research. And developments. Uh, the, the final definition is by Michael Jordan and Tom Mitchell. It's a, it's a drawn from a very recent article from Science. It's a very compact and gives uh, the essence about machine learning. Machine learning addresses the question of how to build computers that improve automatically through experience. Okay, so what about pattern recognition? Pattern recognition or classification, it's uh, an area that is nearly the same of ma uh, machine learning. What happens here is that machine learning comes from a community for, uh, of uh, uh, computer scientists, while pattern recognition is, uh, mm, has been developed by engineers. engineers uh, and they develop uh, on, from uh, separate communities, but they, they, they focus is nearly the same. So here we have a definition for the first monograph, relevant, very important monograph uh, of pattern recognition given by Duda and Hart, Richard Duda and Peter Hart, early 70s. Pattern recognition deals with the assignment of an object to one of several specified 
category. So here, what is relevant is the concept of categories, a finite uh, set of labels, and the task is to uh, label objects according to this uh, set of categories. And uh, it is the, the act of labeling the objects we perceive uh, what is uh, relevant for, uh, for this area. And of course, this is uh, relevant for science in general, because science is, uh, in, uh, in essence, one of its uh, pillars is to label. Uh, the phenomena and the objects uh, that uh, uh, surround us. So Bishop, Chris Bishop, a very also well-known researcher in this area, a machine learning, says pattern recognition is concerned uh, with the automatic discovery of regularities in data through the use of computer algorithms and with the use of these regularities to take actions such as classifying the data into different categories. Again, the number of uh, sorry, the, uh, a set of categories is important as an output for the uh, pattern recognition systems. More recently, Andrew Webb and Cops say uh, statistical pattern recogn uh, recognition relates uh, to the use of statistical techniques for analyzing data measurements in order to extract information and make justified decisions. The other the important thing is the use of uh, statistics. Probability uh, statis and statistics, statistics play a very important role in pattern recognition, uh, the most successful pattern recognition approaches. Well, uh, uh, how these uh, systems uh, can be described? Formally, uh, what uh, we can say, in essence, they follow the uh, classification paradigm. At least in pattern recognition, in machine learning, there are also systems that uh, extend uh, this definition, but we will focus on this uh, paradigm as the main uh, uh, reference uh, for our uh, uh, pattern recognition or machine learning systems. Uh, this paradigm says, given an object text, it has to be cor uh, correctly classified into one of capital C possible classes. So the classes are defined they are a finite set of uh, convenient levels, for instance, one to capital C, and the object to be perceived is uh, given as an output to a classifier, and the classifier returns its class correct, hopefully. For instance, an example, OCR, uh, optical character recognition, for six and nine unwritten, so the input is uh, either a six or nine unwritten, and the OCR system has to guess uh, it's, uh, the, which digit is, in this case, of course, six. Uh, how, how these systems are uh, designed? Typically, they consist of three modules. Uh, Preprocessing, feature structure, and classification. Preprocessing, uh, it's uh, about uh, signal acquisition and filtering. That means, uh, for the example we are following, uh, getting a digital version of the image to classify, and they filter out, uh, let's say, noise, background noise, and to segment the image, for instance, it, uh, there are other objects uh, in its uh, neighborhood. So in order to have the, the object to be recognized in a clean uh, uh, um, state, we apply preprocessing, isolated. And then feature extraction is to compute a compact representation, a vector of uh, measurements, typically real numbers. We call this a uh, feature vector. For instance, here we divide the image into an upper and a lower part, the, and we compute the average brightness on both parts. So here we have a, a bright uh, upper part and a darker uh, lower part. It's six. It would be the other way for nines. And uh, here we have the feature space. This is a upper part uh, brightness, and this is lower part brightness. So we have a six, which is more bright in its upper part and its uh, lower part. It's a point here. And the classifier, what, what, uh, what, it, what it does in its final step is uh, to classify uh, uh, the vector according to some decision rule. Here the rule is just, uh, as we've seen, if it uh, has more bright in the upper part, six, otherwise nine. Okay, and how these systems are learned? There are two basic methods to learn them, which are the following. The supervised methods, uh, they learn from label samples. What we do here is we provide the uh, samples with uh, their corresponding labels. And uh, one, all the samples are provided. Yeah. 
uh, the system uh, learning amounts to finding the uh, boundary that uh, divides the two classes or more boundaries if more classes are involved. In the unsupervised case, we have the same but the samples are not leveled and the system has to also guess the number of classes and the, uh, the, the, the boundary that uh, divides them uh, in a unsupervised way. So example, application examples, we have a test classification, a spam or not a spam, email, image recognition, have written text, uh, speech recognition like the subtitles here in this video or machine translation, again the subtitles in video. All, all of them have uh, systems that fit with the uh, paradigm and the uh, scheme given described below. And uh, to end this presentation, we have, we have here the references, the references that have been used and this ends the presentation.